If you are considering relocating to Salem, Oregon, and you're curious to learn more about the Fairmount neighborhood, this is going to be the video for you. We're not only going to walk around the neighborhood, but we're also going to jump in the car and explore every nook and cranny of this neighborhood so you can have a really good understanding about what this area has to offer. My name is Clarity Odd, and I'm a local real estate broker here in Salem making videos for you, my future clients on the internet who are looking for information about Salem. If you want to work with us in the home buying process, go down to the description of this video where you're going to find all of our contact information. Reach out so that we can help you. Okay, let's get to it, friends. Like I mentioned, we're going to start with walking around the neighborhood. I'm going to give you some insights and information, and then we're going to hop in the car. But to be honest, I love this neighborhood so much. My brain is being squirrely. And I'm just, I'm so excited to show it to you. I'm like, oh my God, what should I say? Where should I go? Because there's just so much good information and beautiful homes to check out. So let me shut up. Let's get to it. Let's establish where the heck Fairmount neighborhood actually is. So what we're looking at right now is my free Google guide to Salem, Oregon neighborhoods. This is a catalog that I have made for you with all of the neighborhoods that I talk about and the videos associated with those neighborhoods. So what we're gonna do is uncheck this box here, uncheck this box, and what we're left with are my favorite neighborhoods, including Fairmount, which is right here. So downtown Salem's right here, here's Bush Park. And if we click on Fairmount, you're gonna see all of the videos that are associated with this neighborhood will pop up right here. If you want a copy of this free Google map guide, just go down to the description of this video and you'll see a link. All right, we are starting our walking tour of the Fairmount neighborhood and what better way to start than checking out Mahonia Hall where the governor lives. We are approaching Mahonia Hall and I'm probably gonna look like a tourist because who goes to look at the governor's mansion? I don't know, probably tourists. But let's go take a look. They always have police out there. So let's go see what happens. So there is Mahonia Hall. You can see it goes over this way and then extends in the back. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous home. And as you can see here in the photos, these are just online photos. Um, that I found on the internet. I've never been in Mahonia Hall. I don't even think it's open to the public. A little bit of history about this neighborhood. So Fairmount is one of the older neighborhoods in Salem. It's very similar to Bush Park, but the difference is um, the founders and the peoples of industry when they first came to Salem and really started building out the capital, this is where they built their mansions. Mahonia Hall is a great example and we're gonna walk past some of these other more grand homes and so you can kind of see um, but these houses are just so gorgeous so if you love the idea of a big stately historic home this is gonna be a great area for you to check out. I love it I cannot talk enough about this neighborhood um, my most recent clients who found me on YouTube, shout out, woo -hoo, um, <laughs> they purchased a home here and the reasons why they purchased a home here are ones that are more common than not. They wanted to be, have close proximity to downtown because they work downtown. They want to have close proximity to the airport, the Salem airport, and they wanted easy access to, you know, just grocery stores and cafes and so this was a really great community for them one thing that they were super excited about when i told them um just ugh, look at this gorgeous house this was recently purchased unfortunately not by my clients but we did tour it and let me tell you it was just gorgeous on the inside um this is also one of my other favorite houses it's kind of like spanish style Okay, let me get back to my clients. I can't remember what I was saying. Um, oh yeah, one of the biggest perks that they learned about when I kind of told them about this community is the fact that Fairmount is a neighborhood where you're gonna know your neighbors. There's a community Instagram page. There is um, emergency awareness night. There's 4th of July parades. There's Halloween trick-or-treating like as a community and little party. Um, so there's a lot going on in this neighborhood. And if that's of interest to you, I, I just can't tell you how wonderful the community is here. 
so that's a huge highlight um yeah it's just a really great space i'm <laughs> house i think i have it in like all my fairmount videos because i love it so much again just the spanish one it's like i'm fangirling but for houses does that have a name should i come up with a name Ooh. yeah okay um Okay, moving on. If you're liking this video so far, go down to the comments and ask me a question about the Fairmount neighborhood. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up so that the YouTube algorithm will recognize this video and pump it out to more people who could use it. I haven't even talked about the most basic things about Fairmount because I'm just so excited. It's located in South Salem. It is part of the South Central area of Salem. So that's gonna have Bush Park neighborhood, which I also have another vlog tour just like this one about, and the Fairmount neighborhood. Bush Park and Fairmount are very close to downtown, so if you want a neighborhood where you can walk to your favorite coffee shops, ride your bicycles, have your kiddos on their scooter, rollerblade, however you want to get there, it's so close that you could walk. The only downside to that is the fact that um, you have to cr uh, cross Commercial Street. So I would say that's probably such a gorgeous garden oh, so pretty um the largest downside is that you have to cross commercial street and that's kind of true for when you actually get out of the neighborhood you have to jump onto commercial street and if you don't go on the right uh, street with the stoplight you're gonna end up sitting there for a while waiting for there to be an opening in the cars so that's a little bit of a bummer but on the flip side to that oh, I just have to show you this house oh it's so pretty oh my god and this one's so pretty too I just love them all okay the flip side to you know not having a lot of stoplights and thoroughfares for the Fairmount area is that you really don't have a lot of people driving through this neighborhood unless they live here. And I know for my clients who just got into their house in here, um, that was a huge positive aspect for them. You know, they would rather have to figure out the one street with the stoplight to get in and out of the neighborhood and trade that for a lot of privacy. As we're walking here, you're gonna notice that there's not a lot of sidewalks. Um, well, I would define this as a walkable neighborhood, like I'm walking in the street right now, it's fine. The newer streets do have sidewalks, but again, this is a really old neighborhood and it was before they constructed sidewalks. So not every street is gonna have a sidewalk, but you are always gonna be seeing people walking around with their dogs, kids out playing. It's very lively in the streets and people recognize that. So they don't, you know, drive through super fast or reckless or anything. You are gonna notice all of this beautiful foliage around me, all of these really gorgeous trees. And with that, in tandem with an older house, you do need to be mindful that come the time that you're purchasing your house and doing inspections if there are any trees in your front yard or side yard you need to get a sewer inspection and what that is going to do is ensure that those roots to those trees are not wrecking havoc on your sewer line and getting in there so that's super important especially for this neighborhood because the sewer pipes are older on many of the homes oh here's another beautiful house i mean these homes are just so beautiful so this house is an interesting story here um oh gosh i'm trying to remember the guy's name i feel like it's eed or eyed um he's had that house on the market for like eight years <laughs> it's really sad because that's a gorgeous gorgeous house um two summers ago i had an open house there i hosted an open house there because i was just like it's a shame that you know that house doesn't have any life being breathed into it. It's a really sad story. They just renovated the house, um, but unfortunately because the wife got sick, they had to leave that house and move to a care facility for her. And so they moved out of that house. It's been sitting vacant since then. And you can, I don't know if you can really actually see on the video here, but the roof is deteriorating. There's water damage. That house is, it's gonna be a huge project. 
but it is an incredible home and so beautiful on the inside. And that home was originally constructed by a lawyer who lived in Salem. He was a very big hotshot lawyer. He constructed that house originally. His office is the one over here on the ground level. It's gorgeous and beautiful. Um, I don't know if it's still for sale now. John Tate, he used to have it for sale. Here's another gorgeous house. I got some uh, apples from these lovely folks who brought them back, I think from the Philippines, or no, from uh, French Polynesia many years ago. So as you can see, there's a lot going on in this neighborhood. I spend a lot of time in this neighborhood because my clients look here and I've developed a lot of relationships with the people who live in this neighborhood because I'm always asking people, <laughs> hey, does your neighbor want to sell their house off market? I've got people who are looking. <laughs> That's just how popular this neighborhood is. Okay, so let's hop in the car and drive around this neighborhood so you can get a good idea of, you know, the totality of everything that we're looking at. I couldn't help myself and start this tour at my favorite intersection. You've got the Spanish house on the left, the other big one that I pointed out earlier on the right hand side. This is Lincoln Street. It's just one of my favorites. Um, at the top corner here is Mahonia Hall. So this is the same area that we were walking previously. I do want to point out that it is summertime. Everything is in bloom. So if you're considering this neighborhood, it looks gorgeous right now, okay? But I need to give you the perspective of the winter time. And just imagine that, you know, the skies are gray, leaves are on the ground. I don't want you to get disillusioned and think that this is what it looks like the entire year. We are coming up on to Fairmount Park, which is a kind of sneaky little park that's um, open to the public, but it's at the back of the Fairmount neighborhood. And so a lot of people don't even know that this park existed. I myself didn't know that it was a park until I started touring with clients around this neighborhood um, many years ago. And it does have a reservoir that was kind of the gray, boring looking block of cement. Um, water is underneath that, but the rest of the park has a playground and some grass to hang out in. Right now we're driving down Rural Street, which is the street with the stoplight that you're going to be going in and out of the Fairmount neighborhood. Um, you can go on other streets to get out of this neighborhood, but that's the one with the dedicated stoplight. Enjoy the rest of this driving tour and afterwards we're going to hop on the internet and talk very specifically about some of the recently sold homes in this neighborhood. Don't forget if you have any questions about this neighborhood, put them in the comments. Enjoy friends!
I have a lot of favorite houses in this neighborhood, but this is also one of my favorite houses, so I wanted to show you because sharing is caring. What do you think about this house? Tell me in the comments. You're probably saying, Clarity, WTF, why are you on Redfin if you have access to the MLS? And this is a great question, so let me tell you. I am a huge proponent of my clients utilizing the democratization of real estate through technology and having fun to window shop for homes online. I decided I was going to take a page out of my own book and do exactly that together with you today. And look, my clients know that my role as their buyer's agent is to provide them representation in the sale of real estate, navigate contract laws, complex negotiations, escrow appraisals, inspections, and handling any any unforeseen hurdles that come up. But most importantly, my role is to protect you as the buyer. If you want easy access to window shopping for houses online, well, kit and caboodle, do just that and have fun with it. Because while you're window shopping and enjoying the process, I'm going to be out there looking for off-market deals and doing all the other things I just told you about. All right, I'll get off of my soapbox now. The area that we were just walking in is right around here at the beginning of the video. This is where Mahonia Hall is. But I want to be mindful that I'm not neglecting the other styles of homes that you can find in this neighborhood. Because this area has a lot of bigger homes, grand homes, mansion i'm gonna call them mini mansions actually <laughs> mini mansions but in the rest of fairmount you really can find a lot of variety in the architecture styles and the size of homes so you're gonna find a lot of cottages a lot of bungalows a lot of four squares a lot of craftsman style homes so there's a lot of variety beyond big palatial style historic homes the home that i want to talk about first is going to be this one because i have been in this home so I feel like I can talk about it reasonably well <laughs> and on a side note I went to school for many years before I decided to become a real estate agent for interior design and this is one of my favorite neighborhoods for that reason because as somebody who oogles and ogles and houses there are just so many features in these homes that just make my heart swoon so I can't say enough good things about this neighborhood, but the intention here is just to give you perspective. You don't have to take my word for it. I think this neighborhood speaks for itself. Okay, that was a tangent. Let's get into this cute little home. So this is pretty typical of the Fairmount neighborhood. This is more of a cottage style home. You have the peaked roof. On the interior, you're gonna see a lot of original features like the hardwood floors, got a gas fireplace. We have these arches, which are pretty darn common to see in this neighborhood as well. You're gonna find a good mix of homes in this neighborhood that have either been fully renovated and totally done up and then a home like this one where it's kind of half renovated you can tell at some point somebody renovated it these cabinets look like they were custom built for this space and somebody has painted over them that's pretty common in this neighborhood this i feel like is kind of a half renovated kitchen we have a bedroom which is likely going to feel smaller than a big new construction home these older houses tend to be a little bit smaller in the bedroom space but that's kind of the trade-off with getting a historic home and being the custodian of it cute bathroom i dig the pink i dig the maroon and i absolutely love this old school sink and for all of my babes out there who love taking baths i am your people and i can tell you that these original cast iron tubs they retain the hot water temperature so well that you can sit in there for like an hour and not have to refill <laughs> okay moving on cute cute this is the upstairs you're gonna have one bedroom right here and then the primary suite right here what we're seeing now is people are taking this entire upstairs space and converting it into one large primary this is the primary bedroom and i'm just scooting along here we're gonna go to another house right now but if you do want to look up this house for just some better idea of what the entire home looks like here's the address okay let's move on to another home that was fully renovated and oh that's so cute okay uh let's see here it is so this home was fully renovated and this is pretty unique to this area because you really don't find 
Um, I, new construction homes are incredibly rare, and then fully renovated homes that come on the market, that is also very rare. And right here is actually the back of Mahonia Hall, which is kind of funny. This home was fully renovated. It's gorgeous on the inside. I just love how light and bright it is. It's warm, but also moody and semi-industrial. Very cute. Again, this is pretty rare. You're not really gonna find fully renovated homes in this area. You're gonna find typically kind of semi-renovated or just homes that haven't been renovated at all. If you wanna look up this house, here is the address. And the last house I want to explore with you is this home. This is a home that is actually a new construction home. And it was on the market for quite a while. It's very cute on the inside, but it's very, very rare to find new construction. When you do see new construction in this neighborhood, it is going to be because somebody has purchased the land, tore down the previous home, and constructed a new one. This one was very cute, but the biggest hang up was right here. You have your neighbors kind of looking into your backyard, and it was just kind of a funky layout for the plot. There's a wide variety of styles and architecture that you can find in this area. Here's a four square home. But if you like the idea of Fairmount, just know that there are tiny cottages, bungalows, and spacious, renovated, gorgeous homes as well. If you enjoyed this video, you are going to want to watch this video next. Bye friends!